Okay, so today I am going to briefly talk about the errors you may encounter while utilizing the Studio 5000 and Automation Direct Seymour panel. Okay, so with the Seymour panel, every semester I run into issues where students tell me it's showing a PLC 26 code or it's throwing a PLC 498 code. What does that mean? What's going on? So let me just run through those two things and hopefully this will help you if you have forgotten something or maybe you hadn't forgotten something but just missed a step. Hopefully this will help you. So if you're getting this PL026 PLC connection timeout, let me show you what you probably missed. So I would say probably what was missed is if you forgot to set up your IP connection or Ethernet connection for the Seymour panel, all right, for the PLC. So if you go into Panel Manager, click on Device 1, right here you'll see that the PLC address all shows zero. So this is where you need to actually go in and type it in and not not the IP address of the Seymour panel, but the IP address of the PLC that you're downloading to. Okay, and once you do that, you should be good to go. So I have completed my transfer now, and it's no longer showing the PLC 026 error. All right. Now, I will say that maybe if you've tried to run your program, Okay, so let's say you downloaded your program in your PLC in Studio 5000 and you tried to run it and it's in the run mode and then you go into Automation Direct or Seymour panel and you try to add in stuff right to it. Um, it's possible that even though you do everything correctly, it could still possibly give you that 026 error code. All right, so my suggestion would be to always make sure that if you're getting the 026 error code that you're checking that IP address under the panel manager and that if you have been running your program and added something into it that you probably need to maybe go offline, possibly need to close out the program and try to reopen it and try again. Um, if that does not work, so let's just say that you put in a switch and a light and you had downloaded to the program, you were running when you added that switch and the light in there, and every time you try to go in and add or transfer, it keeps giving you that 026. Unfortunately, I will tell you that you need to probably just start over. Now that's a worst case scenario. I don't have that happen often, but I would probably tell you that the best thing to do at that point would be to actually just start over. Um, make sure you got your IP address set up correctly and make sure you got your address set up correctly. Because if you're getting an 026 code, it should only be for connection issues through from the HMI to the PLC. All right, because you don't even have to be hooked to the PLC since this is going ethernet. I mean, if you're on your Seymour screen and you're transferring stuff from Seymour over to um, the HMI, then I mean, you don't have to be hooked to the PLC. It'll still transfer whatever you put there. Now, it won't work, obviously, but it'll actually still transfer. So, the one of the big codes is the 026, and I would just tell you to make sure that you have your IP address correct. All right. If you're still running the issues with it, after you've made your IP address correct, you may just need to just close it out and start over.